Bald. Johnny. Can't believe you packed up. Ready to go home. It's time to go, mate. We've had a good time, haven't we, in old Lithuania? We definitely had a good time, but I'm Ooh. sad. Are you? Yeah. Oh, mate. It's been oh, fun. That big heavy hand of yours. Thanks for looking after me. Yeah. And protecting me. I'm from glad the you are uh, somehow, yeah, stayed alive and you made it home. <laughs> oh, yeah, we had a good final. <laughs> we had a good final night out. But, yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Until the next adventure, mate. Somewhere in the world. Somewhere in the world. We'll see you guys then. But, as a bonus, here are all the clips that didn't make it into the big films of what we ate, what it was like in Vilnius during our week there in Lithuania. Our first sunny day here in Vilnius, surprisingly. This is literally the first time we've seen any sun at all in Vilnius. It's nice. If it was like this every day, I would like to hear a lot more. Still very cold though. As you can see from the way people are dressed. I feel like people here in Vilnius are really fashionable compared to compared to Ukraine. <laughs> so one big question people ask is how does Vilnius compare to Ukraine or to Kiev in particular? I would say Vilnius looks nicer, you know, it's kind of cleaner, but everything's more expensive as well. Uh, people dress differently, kind of more Western European, uh, but at the same time, salaries are higher, people just you know, have more money or they spend more money, uh, and the cost of living is definitely higher as well. Yeah. This beautiful church. Hello. Labas. Good morning. What type of dog is it? Um, Australian cattle dog. It's a cow dog. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Cattle Dog. <laughs> Aussie Dog. She's a girl. Oh, she's a girl. Share the food. Yeah, she looks warm as well. This coat. You have a nice coat. Yeah. <laughs> Usually, right. this kind of dog is a cow. Yeah, it's a good color. Good color scheme. Oh, you're a sweetie. Okay, see you later. <laughs> see you. Bye bye. So this video, I'm going to show you a little bit more of the old city, as well as some of the places that we ate, and a couple other things that we did on our days oh, off. Nice dogs here. Oh, dog. The architecture in Vilnius is definitely nicer in general. It's better maintained. Uh, definitely more West European. Really, really beautiful place. So I think just here is this nice actual old town. They're very different than where we live, which is kind of the, the newer district. Yeah, here it is. Look how fancy this Indian restaurant looks. A little rickshaw, even. Hello. Guys, that lunch was $65, including tip. Villainous is bloody expensive. Johnny paid, so. Oh, so thank you for acknowledging that. How much would that have been in India? Three pound fifty. Really? <sighs> Guys, maybe we need to go go to India. But the diarrhea comes free. <laughs> oh, I can't go into the shop. I've got a bloody mask. You'll have to. Do Are you somewhere? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. And Vilnius was definitely way more strict with COVID restrictions, checking masks, checking QR codes than Kiev or really a lot of other places I've been. All right, we're visiting. No, it's not. Where what? what? And also, they're a big fan of having everything no. inside of malls or shopping centers. So, you know, the supermarkets, uh, at least in the city also, center, like are mall. inside the mall. So you need to get checked when you get in and then maybe again, uh, you know, somewhere else at the entrance. It's, it's kind of a pain right. in the butt, to be honest. Assuming this is a woman's. Oh yeah, looks nice. Probably the third, third floor. Hey? Yeah, probably the third floor. Upstairs? They always want to make the guys go. He's so sexist. They always make us go up escalators. Yeah. yeah. Because they know that when men walk into an H&M, yeah. they actually need Desperately need the yeah. clothes, so we'll, yeah. we'll go for do it. anything. Women just want to casually just look around. Such a good point. Such a good point. Ski you later, sir. Oh my God, another floor? What? Wait. 
So also, it's definitely much colder in Lithuania than it is in Prague or in Kiev, which is why we need to buy sweaters before we can go out. Oh my gosh, how far are we going? How much do you want this roll, man? I, I, I almost gave up, actually. It's so bald. So Johnny, do you know where H&M is from and what it stands for? Uh, heavy masculine clothing. Don't know, tell me. It stands for four M. Oh, it's Swedish. Yeah, and it's uh, two guys' names. Ho and M. Who funny Ho names M. they have. Yeah. What's H and M? Yeah. Ho and M. All right. Let's see what. Oh, did I get that pink and Mickey Mouse? Uh... Sorry, but I found Bunny hug. I found this for you. I think it looks oh, really god. Nice yeah, yeah. Sponge in terms of pricing, clothes are a little bit cheaper, or maybe about the same as it is in Kiev, but actually a lot more expensive than other parts of the EU, including Poland and Italy. Oh, what are these? Reduced. SpongeBob reduced to 14 euros. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That looks warm. in this country. I paid more for that than the hat. I know. Is there you go. The... Please, please just don't get that. <laughs> when I see a bargain. <laughs> you can get that college degree you've always wanted. <laughs> Try and sell it. <laughs> I'm go scared, Charles, because this is going to be Johnny's next film. Bald and bankrupt, trying on SpongeBob SquarePants jumper. That's a good title. Lithuania. Done. So it's extra large, but it's still small. It's H and M. Everything's slim fit. God, pretty skinny, bloody kids buying this stuff. If it's a child size, actually doesn't look bad on you. But I've got to be able to be under a jumper. Sponge? <laughs> you really like a SpongeBob jumper? It's a bunny hug. That's what they call it in Saskatchewan. Actually looks absolutely fine, surprisingly. So here's a secret. One of the reasons why Bon and I all are always kind of wearing the same clothes and why we have to shop so often is we travel carry on only. So we can only carry so much stuff with us when we travel, which means that the temperature changes, sometimes we have to buy new outfits. Got myself a bargain there, it's on discount. <sighs> Please don't get a SpongeBob jumper. Why not? So I gotta be seen with you. What's this, young Johnny? Nothing I can do. 13 euros? You can't beat that. That's yeah. Can't <laughs> This is color of happiness. Turn around, turn around. Oh my god, are you 14? 14 quid. <laughs> oh, it's hard to be fair. Yeah, you are a bit tight. Nice, I'll set you up for that. Oh, I think I might. I don't know if I caught that though. I, just, I stopped recording that. That's a good second. That's a good one. I'll give you that. You are a bit tight. Sorry. Bold. What do you think of this? Terrible. Even look at it. Absolutely fucking terrible. Well, I mean, I, I can't hide the gut. I, gotta, I just gotta stop drinking all this beer. So, one of the big differences between Bold's channel and mine is. On his, we go on big adventures. We actually have a storyline. With mine, I like to show you what travel is actually like, what other countries are like, a little behind the scenes, kind of the day to day. Sometimes it's super exciting. Sometimes it's stuff like this. All right, so I found myself a nice scarf and a sweater. I'm keep myself somewhat warm. Oh, what you get, Bob? I got lots of warm clothing. H &M. Finally. Yeah. La bus, la bus. These two. Uh, no, thank you. Yes, please, yeah. Here Yeah, <laughs> not, not here. <laughs> but also this, too. Uh, also, yeah, please. Okay. Achu. Thank you. Uh, Bold. This is a really nice mall. So one thing about Vilnius is pretty much everything is inside of a mall. Uh, if you want to go buy clothes, if you want to eat somewhere, go do something, it's like they love their malls even more than Ukraine. Nice gym there. It looks like a some office upstairs, work land. Anything interesting? Not a sausage. <laughs> That's what the theory is famous for. H&M basically dominates this, but oh yeah, yeah it sounds like a good Oh, it's a nice gem. 
Look at this. Right inside the mall. How nice is this gym? Look at this. Just right inside the mall as well. Hey guys, I want to quickly tell you about this video sponsor, Snowpal. So if you ever get busy with work, home, school, projects, university, whatever it is, Snowpal can help. So whether you're a project manager, a teacher, a student, a YouTuber, a traveler, a business owner, Snowpal has a solution for you that allows you to create content and structure it in a way that works best for you. It provides support to track your progress, measure your performance, and collaborate with other members by granting them varying levels of access to your content. You can use in-app conversations, badge notifications, and customize your content layout and visualize reports through rich charts. This helps you enjoy productivity. Whatever you do with the platform and how you choose to get organized is up to you. What they do is give you all the necessary tools to help you save time in the process and keep your focus on what matters most. Also, Snowpal now offers software consulting services to all clients of all sizes. Whether it's technology stacks, cloud services, Ruby, Java, JavaScript, AWS, and more. Check out all the links below. So big thanks to Snowpal. You can check them out at snowpal.com or any of the links below. They have all different types of services. Check them out in the description box. And thanks again for sponsoring this video. Yeah. All right, guys, it is our last day here in Vilnius, Lithuania. And again, it's a cold, rainy, windy day, it's a gray day. So I don't know if I'm gonna miss this that much, but we are gonna have a last supper. Something that we can only get here. Actually, I guess we in other countries too, but something we don't have in our respective countries. Oh, here's Vietnamese food. Best pho in Vilnius. Best pho in Vilnius. But maybe pho. All right, we were gonna go to Hesburger, but this is closer. All right, it's not a Hesburger, but I don't have to do. <laughs> Look at this beautiful building. These old chandeliers. I think one of the biggest differences between Lithuania or Vilnius and Ukraine is all the apartments here have matching windows and balconies. Not like in Ukraine, it's just all over the place. The roads are still a bit messed up though, so don't think they don't have their, their issues. And lots of graffiti everywhere as well. Here's where I'm living. Even on the inside of the courtyard where people normally more relax with things, every window is matching and double pane and up to date, which is nice. And all the balconies are exactly the same. They start the same graffiti problem though. So some parts of it look similar, like they have these old Soviet po uh, post box, same kind of radiators, but in general, everything's just kind of painted one color, which makes everything look newer. But you can tell it's the same kind of doors even. Like this could be Ukraine. It'd be a nice building in Ukraine, but this could be Ukraine. And the elevator doesn't work. So six flights of stairs up, but at least the lights all work and everything is painted white, which is very nice and clean looking. Here's a little look from the top. Organized. Yeah, it's been nice. We're all this takeout here in our lovely apartment. It's something to miss, but it's been good. Hey guys, it's my last night in wonderful Lithuania. And I've been told by about 500 people on Instagram that just up the road from where we're staying is the greatest kebab shop in all of Vilnius. So um, I want to go and get myself a kebab. However, I've also been told there's a bit of a, well, let's just say it's a hangout for some of the local tough guys. So um, I might need a bit of backup. Protect me. Let's go and get Johnny. Oh. 
Ready me old China? Is that racist? <laughs> <laughs> right, right you wait go. there. Ready me old matey? Yeah. Let's get out of here. Let's go get some kebabs. That was terrible. That was terrible, wasn't it? Uh, Eli, this is start. Come here. Come here. I just don't want to put on pants, so... Right then, let's head on to the mean streets of Vilnius. You ready, me old mate? Oh uh, yeah, whatever. Let's go. Come on, let's do it. Let's get some kebabs. You're right, Johnny. Yeah. I mean, you might want to close the door. So that was the start Come of back. the most epic night that we've had in a long time at the legendary kebab shop where we ended up drinking with Kabonis, the gangster. And I would say that's it. Hope they don't go through your bag, mate. Me too. I've got contraband. <laughs> See you later. See it. Take it easy, Oh, still filming. Adios. Adios. So guys, as much as I enjoyed Lithuania, I'm glad I got out of there when I did because after that one final sunny day of winter 2021 in Lithuania, it started snowing. Literally the day that we flew, it had its first snow and in Ukraine, it's actually snowing as well, but it's way colder in Lithuania. It's funny that there's this uh, stereotype that Ukraine is this harsh place. People are like, oh my God, you're moving to Ukraine, how are you gonna survive? But people don't realize that countries like Lithuania or the Nordic countries, Scandinavia, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Finland, and then like anywhere pretty basically north of Ukraine, it's way colder. So here it's already below zero. And as you can see, there's snow, it's proper winter. This jacket is supposed to be for minus 20 but there's no way I'm gonna last that so we'll see where I go next <laughs> uh, I am glad to have made it safely back to Ukraine and I really enjoyed my time in Lithuania meeting super cool people having some amazing adventures with my good friend at bottom bankrupt and we're both safe healthy just taking a little break after a crazy couple of days not only with the given that experience drinking with some mobsters and having way too much to drink i don't think i've actually had that much to drink since i don't think i'll ever have that much to drink again in my life uh but also the wedding and the bus after party it was just a lot of drinking so i'm actually taking a break from alcohol now but kiev is a beautiful place i don't know if i'll like winter or I'll ever want to come back here again but i have uh moved back so here I am, and let me show you a little bit around this park. And you can see everyone's dressed warmly. The leaves are completely gone, but there's some snow in the trees. And it's a beautiful place to walk. I wonder if these are icicles. Yes, they are. All right, so a lot of people have been asking, how did I like Lithuania? Uh, how's it compared to Ukraine? And will I actually live there? So I did like Lithuania. People were very friendly. Things just kind of work uh, when they do. And it's efficient. The city's not too big, so it's easy to get around. Public transport works really well. Uh, taxis work well. The delivery service for food works well. Everything just works. You know, it is part of the EU. And it's easy to calculate how much things are because it's in euros, which, you know, is like just 10% more than the US dollar. And it actually includes uh, tax already, VAT. So it's basically you're paying US dollars, you know, including tax. So it actually makes it very easy to live there, especially as an American, if you like those services. However, what I don't like about <laughs> Lithuania and a lot of the EU countries is they're so strict with everything. There's so many rules, well, especially kind of during these times where you have, you know, everyone's checking the certificates and the masks and everything. It almost kind of just made me like not want to go anywhere because you knew every time you walk into anything you would get checked two or three times and it just wasn't as much freedom as i feel in you know other countries um ukraine would be annoying if i didn't have this qr code 
but luckily I do because I'm a resident here now. Um, but I don't know. I think Lithuania is just snowy for everyone. Like regardless if you're a resident or not, that's kind of just the way it is. By the way, look at this creepy thing right behind me. What is this? And why do they make it so creepy? Is it dead? What possessed her? And in general, things in Lithuania, especially Vilnius, are more expensive than in Kiev. Uh, food, I would say, is at quite a bit more expensive. Even, I mean, I know we were in the city center, uh, but if I was going to live in Lithuania, I would live in the city center. I wouldn't live in some small town, um, you know, like an hour outside anyways. So I'm comparing city center of Kiev versus city center of Vilnius. Things are expensive. Housing is expensive. Airbnbs are definitely more expensive. Uh, we got lucky with ours, but if it wasn't for me finding that specific one and the two of us sharing it, it would have been pretty pricey, you know? Uh, food, super expensive. A lot of our meals were, you know, say 20 to 30 euros per meal. Even the takeaway was pretty expensive. Like we would probably spend, you know, 30, 40 dollars every time we wanted takeaway. So just things were, were more pricier, right? Uh, taxis are more expensive. Uh, just getting around in general. But it is a nice country. And when things work, they work. Unfortunately, also, they have such kind of strict rules for everything where if something, like, there's no kind of easy way to get around things if in, in many, many, many senses. Um, so I would say good country to visit. I think anyone who's living there and has like a good job, they're probably very happy to live there, but it is too small for me. Uh, especially if you noticed how often we got recognized, just rock around the city center. It's just way too small of a city. I, I like bigger cities where you have a bit more freedom and a bit more anonymity and there's more places and districts to go where you don't get bored. So I would, wouldn't mind going back for a third time you know, in a year or two to visit, but there's a lot of other places I want to see first. So for now, Achu, Lithuania, very nice to meet all of you and see all of you. Uh, but I'm happy to be back in Kiev for a little bit before my next adventure, wherever that's going to be. Leave a comment below where I should go next. And if you have been to Lithuania or if you've desired to go after seeing this video, because I definitely recommend you should at least go once. Mm -hmm.